Indy Mogul. Hey, Zach. Guys. We're supposed to do your effects. Is anyone here? Ah. Oh. It's already on. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. So. Backyard effects, your effects. It's all about... Well, your effects. This first effect is a time bomb by Jason McKella. Me I think I said that right. McKella? Yeah, roll it! This week, we're paying homage to the action movie. And what good action movie doesn't have a bomb in it? Come on. Explosions, they're always good. And what better type of bomb than the time bomb? School glue, clothesline rope, electrical tape, speaker wire, a kitchen timer, miscellaneous paints, two 3-inch in diameter by 8-foot dowel rods, a package of crimp connectors, and printer paper. Start out by marking your dowels at every 8 inches, and then cut out about 8 of them. Take some tape and cover the faceplate of your timer, then paint it black. Now wrap the paper around the dynamite and glue the edges. Once you have all 8 sticks completed, wrap them with electrical tape like so. Then attach the timer to the front. Then attach the crimp connectors to the top of each stick. Cut your rope into 8 pieces of 4 differing lengths. Then cover them with school glue to give them rigidity. Spray paint them silver so that they look like a braided hose. And then hot glue them into the crimp connectors. Now gather the rope ends and secure them to the front of the bomb. Now take your speaker wire and cut it into small pieces. After doing that, paint them whatever color you choose. Secure the ends under the timer and the box. Then as a finishing touch, I dry brush some black paint on the ropes. And there you have it. One beautiful time bomb. I hope you guys really liked this week's build. It was a lot of fun making it, and I know that you're going to make some great movies with it. Wow, Jason, that's a... That's an extremely realistic looking prop. Um, don't... Don't mess around with that, kids. That's... You, you could get in a lot of trouble if you were to make a bomb and, like, leave it somewhere. Yeah, don't... Don't do that. After the break, get ready for a random effects montage. Okay, now it's time for the random effects montage. The next year effects is a Big Daddy Drill by Eric Vines. It's from the video game Bioshock. This week, we'll be showing you how to make one of the scariest weapons for your next horror flick. A Big Daddy Drill arm. Oh yeah. Masking tape. Scrap 2x3. A tin lid or frisbee. Duct tape. A large sheet of paper. Drill skateboard wheel, and an 8-inch concrete form tube. First, make a cone with the sheet of paper and tape the edges down. Next, put the cookie tin lid onto the end of the cone and hot glue it into place. Make sure that the lid is flat. Cut off the excess paper, then take your pencil and trace a line where the blade should be. Next, take your masking tape and make the grooves of the blade. Be patient because this is the longest part of the build. Once done, take the skateboard wheel and hot glue and duct tape onto the lid. Take your drill and attach it to the skateboard wheel. I used an old pencil that I cut, pushed into the top of the drill and hot glued it onto the wheel. But if you find another way, go ahead and try it. 
Hooray! Now it spins with the motor! Now simply attach the drill to the 2x3, making sure you don't cover the button or the battery. Next, cut the form tube to the appropriate length, and then fit the drill into the tube. Use duct tape and maybe another scrap piece of wood to make it fit securely. Add spray paint and detail paint, and you've got one heck of an awesome drill. Well, that's it for this week, but remember to be creative in these builds and add whatever you think is cool. Awesome effect, Eric. I, I don't allow Zach near power drills anymore. It's a... It's a long story. If you want to see your tutorial on an episode of Your Effects, just submit at this link here, indiemogul.com slash submit. Speaking of submitting, apparently we need a lot of random effects montage clips. We're, we're running it out. I mean, you guys, you, you do awesome work. We just, we want to show it all. So keep sending them in. If you want to see the tutorials in their, like, you know, not chopped up two minute versions, go to the Indie Mobile Extra YouTube page. All right, that's it. That's, well, that's my first your effects. You know, leave a, a post or com, I don't care. You know, whatever is said at the end of these videos. I, I gotta go, I got a squash match with Grover. All right.